Hey everyone, and welcome to our unboxing for Across the Seven welcome. Kingdoms, the very first chapter pack in the second cycle of the Game of Thrones LCG Second already? Edition, also known as the War of Five Kings, one of the here. most notable wars in the history of Westeros. It's like it just started yesterday. It doesn't it? Eh, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. <laughs> Anyways, War of the Five Kings has officially begun, so we are no. getting all sorts <laughs> of kings and awesome cards, and we're gonna dive right in. You ready? Right. Yeah, let's start it off. I'm gonna start with the Dragon's Tale. Get it. It is a zero cost event. It's an omen. So uh, watch out. Oh, action! Choose an opponent. You and that player each draw two cards. Now this is this is interesting. It's very interesting. Now let's first of all, this is obviously awesome in melee. Just sort of. Anyone play in melee still? I hear it's way it? better. I'm. I, I'm I actually. Yeah, it is way better. Way better. And you should probably be playing it. And this is an awesome card for that. It's kind of like built for that for me. Um, in joust, I mean, let's talk about it. Really. This is a, this runs into the classic problem of every card that ever says you and your opponent do something together. Except for, Tell it's an action right. that can be played in any phase in any window. So right before they have to so, discard down for reserve? they have no cards in their hand. I do an intrigue challenge, right? Mm-hmm. Then I play it. Then I intrigue the cards out of your hand, right? Oh, well, that's a very specific use case. Well, I, I know, but like, I. You guys buying that? If you can win an intrigue challenge and they have low card counts, then like. No, you're absolutely right. Especially in like a Landish deck with like a lot of claim. But here's the question, stuff. Zach. I mean, like, so that is a use for it. That is use. I, or like you've deployed, you spent all your gold, right? Yeah. So. It, I'm not, I'm just making it. That was advocate. Is this, so like, there's a lot of great events Joffrey's in this advocate. game, right? We know that. Yep. Events are, are running the thing right now. And. It, I mean, what kind of a deck, what kind of a person looks at this and says, this is the most valuable thing I could be running in this deck right now? What's it going to take? It would have to be, like, you would have to be running some kind of, like, maybe a low curve deck where you just need cards in any form and that the quantity of your cards on the board is going to just be better than yeah. your opponent's or something like that. Well, I also, I can't help but think, like, eventually most car houses are going to have options for getting extra cards. Right. 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 And so in particular, it's in houses or themes that like don't get a lot of cards, yeah. it could be more important. Like right. if you're, I that, know that weird like high impact cards but hard to get them like balance that we saw with Greyjoy in first edition, 100%. or at least we were supposed to see it in first edition. <laughs> you know, uh, broken rules. So yeah, yeah, that's fine. It, it's a good, it's a decent card to I, have in the in the game. Anytime you're giving your opponent a benefit, it's immediately questionable. I just always but get spooked when I do that. I do really like the idea of like a Lannister deck, Cersei in increases claim, ways of getting cards out of their hand. Draw and then it doesn't matter because I'm getting rid of your hand anyway. That's fair. That's fair. All right, next up, we get the King of the North, Rob Stark. Pretty King, King, isn't he? Seven cost, military power icon, five strength. He is loyal. Rob Stark, he's a king, king trait, okay. lord. He has renown. During military challenges, Rob Stark gets plus one strength for each loyal character you control. Interesting, including himself. Mm, yes. So he's effectively 16. Okay. Action. While Rob Stark is participating in a military challenge, choose a participating non-king character, stand that character, and remove it from the challenge. Okay. So he can, that's actually really effective in combat. That is really that's effective. That's pretty interesting, right? So, so he can't send himself home, but he can send any enemy home that's not a king. This is, this is uh, you know, this is Thinker Rob here on the throne. It and, is. He looks this, very... This feels more like a, like a killer Rob, doesn't it? He's got renown. He's getting. He's basically. You see his armies, his legions behind him as he's leading this army because his loyal characters. Uh, and then I guess maybe this is the angsty part where he can, he can pull somebody back. Yeah, so he's you having can, to think a lot. It's maybe. cool. Like this art really. He has a weight on him mm -hmm. at this point. Oh, he right? definitely. That's very good at accomplishing and it, that. It looks sure. like he's got a weight on him, and I think he's really great. Uh, character with renown. He's expensive, but this manipulation of moving characters in and out. He's going to be. Think about this. He attacks, and it's like if you don't have a king out and you block. Split of the sword gets so easy to pull off. Oh my gosh. But on the flip side, if they block with everything and you're not going to win the challenge, you can send one of your guys back. Yeah. And I mean, how many times in Thrones? It's a classic Thrones, right? So you, your, your opponent can defend with 10 strength and you have 16 strength for the guys. So like, let's say you attack with 11 strength and then obviously they're like, well, I can't win the challenge, so I just won't block with anything. I'll 100%. go on oppose, but now I pull somebody back and now I have another body for defending or for launching yeah, and a new challenge. Also just Makes sense. immediately puts you on the lookout for anything that triggers off of when you attack. Yes. Right? When this character is declared as an attacker, get this benefit, and then you can and send them back and do it again. And do it again. Yeah. It makes perfect well, a, sense. A perfect example, without even thinking about it, stealth. Thinking. Right. Declare stealth, you can send Arya back out and she can stealth with power now too. So we that's did. immediately just like a, Super strong. Super strong. Super strong. He is combat seven gold, tricks. Though. He's got seven gold. combat tricks. 
Uh, let's move into River Run. This is, oh my gosh, just gorgeous. Look at that art. It is just gorgeous. This is where I want to be. Uh, River Run, two cost yeah, River location. River Run is kind of your place. Maybe I'll do a Tali deck. I've never explored the Tallies. Maybe I should That's do that. It's kind of weird that you haven't. Uh, two cost location, River Run, House Tali and the Riverlands. Reaction after power is gained by or moved to a House Tali character. Oof. Neil River Run to have that character gain one power. Super, super good. I mean, this is the Tallies uh, to a T. Yeah. Right? You have like the, the Caitlyn, the old school Caitlyn, I believe, that had the, uh, whenever something dies, she gains a power. I think she's House Tali. So she would gain two if you Neil River Run. Yeah. Do that. That's cool. Or like the Blackfish. All the renowned stuff. Who wants to get the power Blackfish. on him. There's you that. have the character that puts a power on a character when it comes into play. Now, yes, two. which is really good. And you have the character that uh, has renown if there's less than three plots in the use pile. Um, so, and then you have the character that you remove power to lower the cost of House Tali characters. So as you get more power on the board, you can play more and better House Tali stuff and then get more power on the board. They're playing, yeah. the, they're playing the game. And I think in, this, in, this is in the Game of Thrones, card. power oh is gosh. not easy to come by. Like free power is very important. So, so good looking. Do again, you how good I do. We is? we keep getting the Tully theme, so I'm happy about that. I'm amazed. I'm, I'm truly give... just like I would frame the, if I could get the full piece here. I would frame that in a heartbeat. Who did the art? Juan Carlos Barquette. Juan, cheers to you. <laughs> Juan, thanks. Juan. Cheers to you. Yeah, All great. right, next up we. <laughs> this is the, one of the greatest names in Thrones. Sir yeah. Colin of Greenpools. No, you know it's Colin. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's Sir, Sir Colin, Colin Greenpools. It's Colin the, of Greenpools. It's the grossest thing I've ever All heard All right, he is a Tyrell Greenpools? character. He is loyal. Uh, two cost, military, power, one strength. That's actually pretty good for two, getting yeah. that. Yeah. He's a knight, again, playing on that theme. Very During good. During power player. challenges, Sir Colin of Greenpools gets <laughs> plus three strength. Yeah, that's not what it is. But th this is a great little character. He's loyal. I love these little loyal characters. I think the game needs a little bit more down in that section. I think of the we're curve. gonna get it. I think we're absolutely gonna get it. And he's a fascinating character. He can do military. He also is a pretty strong power challenge character. Yeah. I mean, so. we were just talking about this the other day in the story. We should we should we should do a full video on that kind of a discussion about like you have an increased gold curve in Thrones, but then you're not getting enough gold on your plot, so you so feel like, like you have less options in what you could actually play. Yeah. Unless so, you get a much more of these characters. But we get a lot more small yeah. guys, but then does it turn into like no name character thrones again? He's no name. He's Sir, Co Sir Colin. And, and in fact, that is why it's so cool. He I is, think actually he's not a no name. He's just a random. He's an actual cool person. Guy. He's, he's a, a good, person. He's a good knight. Yeah. He's not, not every character can be Rob Stark. You know, you know what he's mean? not just a random, you know, a worker. Boat yeah. Uh, let's go to Bitter Bridge in Cam. And speaking of, got a little bitter there. Three cost location. It is the Reach traded, uh, of oil, which can man. be very important. It is loyal to the Tyrells. And it has a reaction, and it's such an interesting card, Zach. After <laughs> a summer plot card is revealed, kneel this card to uh, have each player put a character into play from his or her hand. This is fascinating. So after some plot card is revealed by you or your opponent, you kneel this card. See, watch me do it. Boop. Oh, and then it. both of us get to play a character for free. You may tell you why this is interesting. Or I should say, put a character into play for free, because I think that matters as it used to. So you can choose after you've revealed the plot, right? Yes. So assuming you're going to play something like Valor, doesn't exist yet, but it's been spoiled. Uh, you don't have to put something in. Right. But at the same time, to me, I'm already picturing this in like a hand with a hand control deck, right? Whether it's Absolutely. Lannister that's Entry the, or that's where my immediately win. If or my it's no like cards, you uh, me? Baratheon, right? You've seen in Flames, and you mm -hmm. get rid of the characters that matter, and it's like, oh, I'm going to get a Queen of Thorns, and you're going to get a. Yeah, anything, anything that you're looking at their hand and you can verify, it's like, okay, I'm going to win this exchange, boom, I can do it next turn. Yeah, and so this this is actually fascinating to me, right? So we're starting to Total see deck these, archetype right here. these locations, like you're starting to get cards that let you put characters in mm -hmm. for not their gold cost, which adds to that conversation of the gold curve. It gets confusing then. It gets How do you balance wild. a card that you don't pay for? Well, you uh, <laughs> make your opponent able to do the same thing, right? It's like zero cost, <laughs> you draw two cards, but your opponent gets two as well, so. Absolutely. We'll see about all that. That's balanced. All right, next up we have Ari, which I just freaking love. Now, Zach, I'm a little confused because that looks like somebody else that I know Well, it's a Night's Watch, loyal card, four cost, military intrigue, three strength. Okay. Recruit is the trait. Ambush of four. Okay, I like, I like that. Yep. That's fine. If you control Arya Stark, sacrifice Ari. So this is Arya? This is Arya. When she's Spoiler on a journey right. up north from King's Landing with the Night's Watch, right? She's hanging out with Gendry. Beautiful. And she's disguised as the boy, Ari. But if you ever control Arya, she goes away. Yeah. But this is really cool because it's Night's Watch too. Action. It's, it's actually loyal to Night's Watch, which is kind of confusing. I, I well, would expect Ari to... can only be in the Night's Watch. If she is Arya or if she is anything else, then she is 
Right, then she's out. out of that's her fair. Costume. Okay, that's fair. Action, return Arya to your hand to draw one card. Okay, interesting effect. It's fine. Um, I, I think she's a little expensive. Yeah, it's not really doing it for me, but I mean, ambush is a powerful effect. We know that. I'm mm-hmm. bringing in a three with a, two very good icons. The, the most, well, not anymore. Nothing's more important than anything else. No, it's just all, rele- it's all relevant no. based on the situation. Uh, but three strength for four gold, um, ambush four. You know what, I, I, uh, I'm waiting to find out why I should love this card. Now, I do card draw. like, I, I, do I love will cards. say, card draw is good. I also think with like Sir, Sir uh, Mormont. Yeah, uh, what's the, his name? the bear, the old bear. Old bear. <laughs> he can put nice watch characters into play, right? Yeah. So you have this in potential engine, interaction where it's engine. like, oh, I can put a thing in, I can put it out to draw a card. Okay. And it's like the same with the ravens, they bounce to draw cards or whatever. Seems like the Night's Watch are trying to really get on that theme. Yeah. Like the bouncy for benefit. Thing. Which is... Bouncing for benefit now, is what we call the deck. I will say that attachments, when you bounce, go back into yeah, your hand. Yeah, that's true. So like, it's a card you don't want to attach a lot of stuff to. I don't know. I'm yeah, we're getting there. We'll figure it. You guys will figure it out. It's, oh man, I'm excited about this card. Ooh, here's the white tree. Three cost location, unique, contested traded, and the north traded. That's an interesting trait there. Uh, it is loyal to the Night's Watch. It says, reaction after an opponent collects income, Neo White Tree to move one gold from that player's gold pool to your own. Love it. It's crazy. I it's unique, it. which is unlimited. It's unique. It is non-limited, but that is a, that is a two gold swing every turn. Yeah, that I'm taking one of yours. I'm getting it. Begins to get really crazy. Now, if we ever see something like House of Dreams, or where you can start with a location in play, get out of town. this becomes pretty pretty interesting. And we already have some By pretty interesting. Good search. You mean bonkers? Right, it's pretty good search going on. So I think this is interest. I mean, it's it's just priced just right. Because <laughs> if it was two, I mean, it's like, yeah, obviously. If it were four, it'd be like, mm, probably not, not going to pay off. Three is like, okay, questionable. I could build it. Yeah. And I, I think, think a lot of people are going to love this The other card. part of that, that's the kind of card that takes a, some time to pay off. Like, yeah. you need a turn or two of and triggering. Night's Watch are not quick. But I think more, no, they're not. They'd like to not lose, <laughs> right? So they yeah. will have time. But I yeah. think more importantly, with that card and that, that ultimate style is you are... I lost my train of thought, so Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> See ya. Well, that's fine. Let's move on to the White Raven. All right. Sorry, man. You get out of that. Speaking, speaking of white trees. All right. On to the White Raven. Ready to dive in. Two cost, one strength, power icon, Baratheon, Raven. Force reaction after you lose a power challenge, sacrifice White Raven. Reaction after you win dominance if there is a summer or winter plot card revealed, gain a power for your faction. Okay. Uh... This is this is kind of I, this is a this is a, we've got a few uh, questionable you know I look at these cards and I th- I think to myself okay it's so a two cost one strength power icon which is you know nobody's writing home about that yeah right straight up uh, Raven traded so that could be relevant at some point you lose a mo- uh, power challenge you kill this thing which is not at all what you want on this any not, card <laughs> not what you want uh, and then after you win dominance. If there's a summer or winter card revealed, game one power for your faction. So this is for a summer or winter deck, and you're going to be winning dominance and occasionally. I mean, it plays in into the Baratheon thing, instances. right? Yeah. They they have the power icons. They have Bob and they have Stannis. So it's just a little quick power uh, accelerator. Yeah, and it's a, a two cost character. I, I think it, it will fit in a certain deck. It's fine. Obviously, it's a White Raven, so I'm not like excited about it. Um, <laughs> but like. I do think there will be more plays on the Raven theme in winter and summer, and so like. And if not, it's claim so. Yeah, cost and claim so. at least it's not the old White Raven. That's, yeah. That's really what's yeah, going that's on true. here for it. So, oh, I'm excited about this next one. Drawing some lines in the sand. Let's talk about the Ruby of Raholer. Raholer. Uh, three cost attachment is item, and Raholer traded. Where is Robert when you need him? I mean, he is the only man who can say Raholer correctly Raholer? In, in the way that just Raholer. makes me Raholer. amused. Raholer. 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 It's like uh, Raholer character only. Reaction, after you win an in- Intrigue Challenge in which attached character is attacking, name a card, the losing opponent reveals his or her hand and discards each card with that name. I'll go ahead and name Dracarys every time. I mean, so here's the thing though, Zach. I mean, here is the thing. I mean, I, this is... this is. Uh, I'm curious to hear what you're about to say. Very curious. Well, I would put this into potentially trap card territory. I'd put this into potentially flashy card territory. All right, all right. Real Red world, alert, flashy, flashy, flashy. I need flashes, I need Real flashes. Real world usefulness all right. is the, the reality is that you paid three gold to put this on something that is now a huge liability. There's one thing that I'll get to in a minute, but go ahead. You then have to win cost. the intro which some decks are designed to do. And you have to name a card correctly to get it to do anything. 
However, you do get an immediate hand reveal, which is relevant, especially at the next time you get to use this attack, because now you can actually name something that's appropriate. You get to know what's coming. You could potentially have the location that lets you put a character into play. Mm -hmm. And your opponent next That's time. true, yeah. Now we're, now now we're stringing them together. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's, the effect is good. We're not going to deny that the effect is good. Here's what I want to say. I just like that raw, efficient card pool, though. I have two, two counterpoints to your... I okay. agree. I think it's a little bit of a trap card, right? It, it's, three is quite expensive for an ability you have to still win a challenge off of and a questionable result. But... You have to remember this is a Baratheon card. You're also card. getting entry claim though, right? It's not a replacement. You're effect. also getting entry claim. You also have Relor, right? Okay, so that's the, way better. I'm the, sorry. The Relor trait. I take everything back. I take it all back. The Relor yeah. trait is very good, right? Yes. If you have Mallet, you get a Neil from you playing this card. You get Obviously another Relor card. Anneal. But you also yeah. get this is a deck that's probably gonna have seen in flames in it. Yeah, crazy. And so it's like All right, the synergy is definitely there then. This you is just, actually good. You just can eat away at their hand. I don't I think it's a one of. You get entry claim, you get potential synergy with the trait, and then you get to name a card and potentially get two or even three cards out of an opponent's hand. It could be brutal. All right. Especially Sold. if you've already seen the flames this turn, it's ridiculous. I love it. It's great. He's he's officially in the camp. I've All right, changed next my up, mind. We have Jano Slint. He's a five cost character, mercenary, loyal, military intrigue, two strength for five gold. And he's loyal. Woo! Really? A loyal mercenary? Is that even possible? It is, apparently. If you got the gold. All right, he has Intimidate. Okay. So, Intimidate, our two-strength character, not exactly bringing it, bringing but, it home. But, there's more. Action, pay gold to give Janice that plus two strength until the end of the phase. You know why this is wild? I don't. I truly do not. How many times can you use that action? As many times as you want. How many times do you want to spend four gold on a, on a character like well, this to get an Intimidate? Come on. But if it's like, I'll pay two and I'm at six, it's like... That's pretty okay. And That's, you can do it after you're winning the challenge, right? Yeah, it's like, so oh, I'm going to intrigue for two. Yeah. What do you want? And it's also I can win the challenge. Right. Right? Like, what do you right. want to block with? I can just keep paying gold until... It's true. It's true. Until, In the world where you have three to four gold going into challenges, and which can happen Lannister does. And more importantly, no, no. Tyrion does. Tyrion definitely Tyrion does. Tyrion is a boss. He will never go away, will he, guys? No, it's like... He's look, just, he just plays it, such strong fundamentals. If you have Tyrion on the board, it's like, I'll attack with Janus with an entry, gain two gold. So like yeah. now I have two gold to pay two to get plus four. And they're a beautiful pair. On defense, God, God forbid, you do an intrigue. No. It's like, well, now I have the gold to block. And Heaven forbid. I like Janus a lot. Yeah, he's actually really good. But he also, let's not forget, he comes in to play it. Five strength, or I'm sorry, two strength for five gold. Is immediately susceptible to a lot of... Targaryen's going to eat him. Well, I mean, yeah, he's just lunch. like... Uh, he's just uh, nom, 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 nom. They just he, look at Janus. Which is fair. Like, I mean, he dies, got, dies to dragons. He's got to have a weakness, I guess. Ask John about that. What's up next? Levis at the Rock, zero cost event for the Lannisters. It is non-loyal, however. After a player initiates a challenge against you, move up to X gold from that player's gold pool to your own. X is the number of attacking players. That's interesting. It's very good. I mean, so this is not only giving you the capability to play your events now, but it's taking their abilities away to play events. And it can be strong. Even just one, one gold to one gold swing in the challenges phase is pretty worthwhile. Yep. And this not, almost not even, acts as a cancel. Not even talking about dominance. This almost replaces hand's judgment. Almost. 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 Because, you know, they attack with one. It's not, like, oh, I gain more really. gold. It's not quite canceling us. But a lot of times... I mean, that can turn everything on no, and I, off. I agree. I totally agree. Collectively. And the art's incredible. So, two thumbs up. Yeah. I like it. Both our thumbs yeah, are up. It's great. All right, next up. Ooh, look at that art. I I'm, know. I'm Very stricken strange. by the sun. It's interesting. That. Anyways, this Captain's is, Daughter. This, this is a wild card also. Wild, wild I had wild a sneaker card. peeker earlier. I didn't. Four cost, power, power icon, two strength. Greyjoy non-loyal ally reaction. After a non-loyal character enters play, kneel your faction card and sacrifice Captain's daughter to place that character on top of his owner's deck. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> yeah. So like uh, you know, this is the kind of card that got tempted by the daughter. Yeah. Eh? <laughs> yeah. I see what happened here. See you see later. later. Uh, this is going to be really good or not relevant at all. It has to be really good. <laughs> no, it does. I know it is. I mean, it's one of those that Zach's about to say, here, watch. Hold on. Let me, I'll take on the, uh, the uh, hat of Zach Bunn here. All right, go ahead. Well, Stephen, you know what I always say is that a lot of times it's not what the card is doing, but what the card is making your opponent consider just by it being around. Yeah. And by, uh, by, by playing Captain's Daughter now, every one of the choices that your opponent's making is a lot weirder because it's like, I don't want to spend all my gold and get nothing even if they're having to sacrifice Captain's Daughter to do it, but like at the same time, you're non-loyals, you paid four for this thing, and if you sacrifice it immediately on that like dip, that uh, marshalling phase, hasn't really done a lot for you, because a non-loyal above four cost that's relevant, 
There's, there's some, there's some in the space. There's some in the space. What do you think? It's do you run this? I, do you play this? I don't know. I think it depends on the deck in particular because four cost is a lot to pay for a character. It is, is a lot. only there to it, not you let can, your opponent. You can play around play. with some two strength power challenges. Yeah, but what I see is like this goes straight into decks that run like trading with a Pintoshi, mm -hmm. right? It's like okay, well I get ten, you get plus gold, but I'm gonna play this guy. Yeah, and it's like and now, now right. yeah, that's that's if, true. If you don't have a loyal, that's true. It's like very true. You, so I, I don't know. It's the kind of thing that, like if you can build a board presence, this is a crazy tool to have on your. And board. like people like Tyrion, they're not loyal, right? Isn't that right? Tyrion's Tyrion not and loyal. Jamie are not loyal. Isn't that crazy? There's very few loyals. Yeah, it's like crazy. there's actually surprisingly few loyals. So this so, is a nice bit of control. Man. I think it is costed a bit aggressively high. Anchor just want to go first. I think it'll put it slightly out of the game. Not, All right. And, All right. And, unless All right. the gold now, continues sure to rise. About that. I think it'll still see play, but I think it'll be in less decks. Obviously, if it was less, but. It's just slightly just beyond too like much. too good, too right? Like it's not obviously the correct choice. All right, all right. right. Let's venture that. to Pike. Let's do it. Not two nearly as beautiful unique. as River Run. I'm switching. <laughs> He's out. I'm <laughs> He's switching. A river Going to the rivers. Iron Islands, the loyal Greyjoy card. Wait till you hear the ability. Action. Neil Pike to choose a character until the end of the phase. That character gain. It's just a Stealth. home run. It's a home run for Greyjoy. It's an absolute home run. They need a little bit extra support. This Let me actually tell you. brings it to the right level. Stealth is the jam. Yeah, it's the jam. And so optional stealth on any character you want. <laughs> Really, really is just a great kind of linchpin for these unopposed decks, and that's really what you need to be doing with Greyjoy, to be honest with you. I mean, that's where all of your cards say that term. Yeah. So get the and stealth I, and make I it unopposed. I think that's where the daughter builds into this, right? Where yeah. it's like, if I have less optional characters stealth, on the board, you have less stealth. characters on the board, I'm just going to get unopposed for yeah. days. All right. I like it. I like Pike a lot. All right. Let's talk about Viserys. Well, or Viserys. Depending yeah. on... God, Best. I never know. This Viserys. We asked on a video before, and Ares. people told me how it's to like say Ares. it. It's like Ares. This Ares. What is it? It's like Daenerys. Daenerys. Like Daenerys. Viserys. Daenerys. Daenerys. Viserys. Daenerys. But I say Daenerys. Daenerys. It's Daenerys. Daenerys. Is it Daenerys? It's potato. Potato. Daenerys. Daenerys. Storm. Daenerys. 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 But the cod said potato. But it's Ares. It's. Ar Anyways, go ahead. The uh, you tell us. Leave it in the comments. It's, it's, I want to know how do you a, say Viserys. It's a two Viserys. But we already did that. It's not Viserys. I didn't, I didn't it's not Viserys. It's Viserys. 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 Viserys Targaryen. Two cost character. One strength. Power. Loyal. King and lord. He looks okay. so vis he looks, Viserys is in he this. In a, he's a, in a field of wheat. Uh, while Viserys Targaryen is attacking, each king character must be declared as a defender if able. <laughs> okay. So that can be a real troll maneuver there. Uh, interrupt when the dominance phase ends. If no opponent controls a king, he gains a power. This is just an immediate one of an altar. Yeah, you just do one of there. He's oh. a little card, so if you're on fealty, you can reduce him. He gains power if they don't have a king, and okay. he can We're just getting, be annoying if they do. We're getting some lower curve, unique guys. I'm, I'm seeing it happen. <laughs> and I get the greatest card oh, in the pack for pronunciation. Let's see here. It's the Dothraki word. Shirak Kaya. Say it like you're a Dothraki. Mm, Shirak Kaya. <laughs> <laughs> Shirak. I don't know. <laughs> it's just very aggressive, and there's lots of Ks. How do you say it? Uh, no, I think that's right. Shirak. Shirak Kia. Kia. Kaya. Shirak Kia. Kaya. Is it not Kai? Kai. They're saying, hey, it's the burning comet. It's the, it is the, the dragon tail. The dragon tail, yeah. Zero cost event. Omen. Reaction. After you win a power challenge. Oh, no. Bleeding star. Sorry. They named it bleeding star. It's in the flavor text there. Hmm. After... What's that called? It's also an omen. The dragon's tail. That's what the card was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but they call it the omen. Bleeding, reaction. So. After you win a power challenge by four, five, or, five, five or more strength, kneel your faction card to choose and stand a participating character. Yes. Boom. <laughs> yes, we can. You see, say, puede. Uh, <laughs> what is that what that means? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> That's so good. All right, I, I believe you. It's good. If you yeah, like it, I like it. Uh, you know, it's like I just. A lot of times early on, especially, you won't want to block a power challenge, right? And yeah. it's like Nobody likes blocking zero power cost challenges. stand. My I, least favorite thing. I'm a fan of standing. All right. All day, every day. Well, let's talk about Harmon Oler. He's opening up the build right here. He's six cost, four strength, military power, house Oler lord, has renown, checklist. Chick, chick, chick. And then finally, each sand snake character in your hand gains ambush X. X is one less than that card's printed cost. Yes. A thousand times yes. Would do again. A hundred times yes. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't even have to have each sand snake thing. It's a six cost, two icon, four strength, strength but renown. Goodness, doesn't And he fits right in there with I love our it. sand snakes uh, jumping sand in. Sand snakes. Come on. Next up. Perfect. Let's travel to Dorne to the Tower of the Sun. Look at that sunset. Looks good. That should That's be the last. 
pack, card in the pack. I feel like that's yeah. just how you end it. See you later. Tower of the Sun. Dorn, it's loyal reaction after an event is played, gain one gold, limit once per phase. This is literally faction defining card. Yeah, you play this. Your opponents play events, you gain gold. Play it. Once this per card phase, is incredible. Though. Once per phase. It's sure. Important. Don't care. Play it though. This, this. Now here's here we go. Here's where you play Dragon's Tail. It's man. not even an enemy event. After an this event is played. This is where you play Dragon's Tail. You get a gold for it. Right. You get a gold and two cards for your opponent's two gold. Well, this That's is great. I mean, you there's just play all the events. And then you can do it in the marshaling phase, and then next phase during uh, during the challenges phase, you can get another gold because somebody plays something or you play. You yeah. get, this this is the card. It's correct. Imagine if you if you could play we an event. We need more gold, Zach. Phase, and here we go. If we you could play gold. an event in draw, if you could play an event more in marshaling, and and. You, you get in wait. challenges, and it's like, ah, I'll play a zero-cost event, get my gold, and now I have the gold to play the one-cost yeah, event. Yeah, you play the thing. Like, that's yeah. freaking so Gold good. is important. And gold I, is important. We need more of it. All right, next up, we have the pyro... But they're, I, they're I getting can't it. wait to see what you think Before about Before we get card. the pyro so the gold, yeah. we are getting way more gold, and I think it's cool because each faction is getting gold in their own in way. In their own way. Right? Like, Tyrells Can't are, I just play plots Tyrells like are dropping way? characters in. Martells are getting it from events. Can't I just I'm excited to see how it targeted. Just play anyways, Pyromancer is five cost. Woo! Two strength, intrigue icon, ally, dominance, action. Neil Pyromancers and discard one power from your faction card to choose a non limited location and discard it from play. That is a mouthful of text. If, <laughs> if there ever was, it, like the sentence just kept I mean, going. No, no uh, uh, punctuation. Here's, okay. I mean, five cost is a lot to pay. Yes, but. Cards. And you have to suffer through the location for that turn. And then you get a chance during the Dominus phase to discard a power from your faction card, kneel this thing, and do something with it, right? Discard yeah. that limit. But, like, I mean, if you get a use or two out of it, it's, it's phenomenal. What is, the, is it Gaston Gray? Is that the bounce block? Okay, so if it gets rid of a Gaston Gray? Sure. Mission accomplished, right? Like, so you run that's, It's already going to be used. I mean, it's no, going to be no. Because you don't let them trigger, right? All right. It's like I send my crap, you guys. If you want to use Gaston Grand, that's fine. All right, fine. But then it's like, yeah. more specifically, like I mean, you've got even just in in all these. I mean, you got this Tower of the Sun, you got Pike. You have River Run. Yeah, River Run. You've got this three cost White Tree. So like all these are are, are up to bat, you know? Like that's I mean, yeah, serious, and it's it's not. There's no cost restriction. It's literally just non limited. Yeah. So like, I mean, this is a check. This is the United States Supreme if, Court. This is a card that needs to be in the meta. Or not, it needs to be in the game. Sure. Because if, if the deck gets too strong or location gets too strong, having the option to deal with it you and your deck having it as like a one of or a two of. And he's got a big old target on it. You gotta, you gotta turn as the location owning player to, to deal, deal with this with guy. All right, it's there. Could, could be a very significant thing. It's kind of where I am with Thrones anymore. It's like hard to judge. Don't know the game that well, you know? It's you like, play some haven't games. figured it out yet. Yeah. All right. To the Reigns of Autumn. To the Reigns of Autumn! We get our plots, we get two in this pack. Reigns of Autumn, four gold, three initiative, one claim, six reserve, it's an omen. Lots of omens happening here. Yeah. Characters and locations do Watch not out. provide positive gold modifiers. Now why you gotta do this? Because, you know what this signals to me? We about to get lots of gold up in this game. You're about to get choke up in this game. Sure, but you, you have to have ways of stopping it if the gold is like too much. Nah, man, let everyone have the gold. I say free gold for everyone. Everyone. Bernie 26 feel the burn. Yeah, that's right. Because I'm, I'm <laughs> feeling the burn. You know what I mean? House Targaryen, feel the burn. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Feel the burn. I love it. We should make a shirt. Let's talk about Varus's riddle. Five, six, one. Those are some numbers. Pretty solid. I like those numbers. A riddle and a scheme. Uh, when revealed, initiate the when revealed ability on a revealed non-riddle plot card, as if it, you had just revealed it. How many times did I just say revealed in that sentence? When reveal, reveal, reveal. Initiate three. the when revealed the, ability the, the on a text. revealed non-riddle plot card. So what happens if both players play various riddle? The game impossible continues in perpetuity <laughs> of <laughs> triggering off of the twat. So yeah, now, I that. will say, flavor-wise, this is amazing. The various riddle from the book slash the show is one of the best parts of the entire book series. And to get the art that's depicting in a room sits a king, a priest, and uh, a rich man, guy with a sword who has the power. It's the riddle. Interesting. He does have the power. The sword. I don't know. What's the answer to the riddle? Is there actually, is that the riddle, really? No, the, the riddle is in a room set three great man, a king, a priest, and a rich man with a gold. Between them stands a sellsword with a sword. 
what happens? Who has the power? Who has the power? Is that real? Is it solved in the book? No. I just have to solve it? That's the point of the thing. Oh. It's whoever he thinks has the power. Well, I better think about it first. I'm not going to solve it. It's whoever the guy with the sword thinks has the power. Anyways, that said, this plot, let's talk about the in-game ability here, right? I'm just thinking about the What do you think about it? Uh... So this is basically like uh, in a one-on-one -on -one situation, you get to reveal effect your opponent's plot card, right? If they have a win, reveal the fact. Yeah, I'm not missing that, right? But you can't reveal something in your use pile. That's right. Because that not would real. be bonkersly good. That would be way better. Way. Yeah. Well, I mean, think about it, right? Your opponent plays is crazy enough to play Pintoshi. They give you three gold. You trigger this, you get three more gold. That's pretty yeah. good. Pretty they play solid. March to the Wall. Yeah. Now it's potentially a double march, and they didn't even know it was happening. Double march, and didn't even see it coming. Uh, Valor? Double Valor? Valor? I mean, Valor would be... It's like it's Valor, Valor? Like, especially if you have the, the great toys with their Iron Islands and Saren Mines Gets out, through all the and stage, they're going right? to save, and then it's like, hey, by the way, ooh, gotcha. Um, yeah, there's a lot of or, great uses for this. Or they choose the, like, choose a Neil character, right? So but, you get to choose it, choose search for a character, choose search for location, you get to trigger it. Here's the strength of this card, though, Zach, is that even if you don't hit another Wind Revealed, you it's a 5-6-1. Yeah. 5-6-1, like, seven. I think this is going to find its way into a lot of uh, plot decks. Plus, it's one of the most thematic best parts of Game of Thrones, period. All right, well, let's play it. Well, there you have it. We have officially made it we started. across the Seven Kingdoms. We've started. This is the five, second War of the Five Kings has begun. We have Viserys, we have Rob. We're going to get the other kings. It's going to be wild. I'll tell you what, the game is starting to... Uh, it's really starting to find its feet, I feel like. And that's what we're talking about with, with getting the gold and getting some of these lower cost curve characters filling in those slots. I'm excited to see where it goes at the end of the cycle. Well, I'm really we, excited to see it. We know in pack four of this cycle we're getting Valamir Gulas. So and what happens then? A lot of people die. What happens then? Uh, we got banner tokens, of course. You guys need that. And if you like this pack and every other one, uh, then sign up for a Covenant subscription. It's a great service. You'll love it. I guarantee. Uh, Get the packs automatically. Never like worry Don, about it. Sound like Trump there, didn't you? You do. Well, let's You're make love packs it. great again. It's great. Uh, so look at that. Sign up for that. Uh, we would love to have you as a subscriber, and we will make it worth your time. And uh, we'll see you on other videos. See you guys.